Hi all, uh, this is probably the quickest way for me to show you how to uh, customize symbols in QGIS. So yellow baby poo dots is okay if you just want a quick map, but as you can see on here they're not easy to see against the background and we can't tell what dots are what or what features are what. So we're going to quickly customize these, I'll show you some options. So in this case here we have our point data uh, kindly provided by a previous student and we're going to go to properties so just right click properties under on the left hand side we've got information source symbology we're going to be playing with the symbols so we will select symbology and we're going to categorize because we don't want just one symbol for everything so if we categorize we then get an option of a value so what are we going to use which field are we going to use as the value for categorizing our data and in this case I'm going to use the name field it should be the one the high level value okay um, the first first field that you fill in um, in groundsman and now we want to actually work out how many um, name unique name values there are so it's going to create one category for each unique name value in the field so if we click the classify button down the bottom here we'll get a set of points now we still have our little uh, yellow one here for all other features but you can see that we've now got a different color for each each of our symbols but they're still all little circles which is kind of boring okay so let's make the bin look like a bin so if we go to the bin and double click on the label on the symbol sorry so we just double click on the symbol we can change it from a simple marker here on the marker to a SVG marker now an SVG marker is a scalable vector graphics marker okay so they will still look nice and sharp at whatever size you make them and bins we would typically think of as like an amenity or something and here we have a nice little bin um, icon a classic one but you can see that up the top here it's still really really small so let's just increase its size so if we make it a 5 by 5 millimeter bin and then set its color to a brighter color to suit our purposes okay so we now have a little red bin marker okay and we can click OK and back in our list of symbols here you'll see that we now have a nice little symbol for our marker we can click apply and we'll just move this out of the way and we can see our little red bins uh, symbols in, in here now we can go and have a look at our lamp so we'll double click on lamp okay this time we've got a choice we can scroll down here and pick from our list of uh, pre-made symbols that are all available there but there's nothing that really looks like a light okay so we'll go and we'll go and make our own symbol that looks like a light for the purposes of the garden so we want a nice bright yellow lamp okay and we don't want a black outline on the light but we'll have something that's a maybe a little bit of a shade on on the light okay and now we can offset so we can move this instead of just being a yellow point we can actually move that offset it up a little bit okay so you'll see it's moved from the center point here up and we can add other components to our simple marker so I'll add another component it automatically populates it as a circle but we don't need a circle we probably want a a line okay and it's going to be a little bit thicker than that we want it to look like a pole so we just increase the stroke width okay and then we can increase its length so that it actually meets up with its lamp and so now what we have in our little symbol up here is a pole with a little light on the top okay so we've created our own symbol okay and we can click apply and then okay and I'll just turn off the gardens and you can see now that we have 
a classic little light symbol standing up on our map and our people symbols also shown and that's how you symbolize your uh, features